Welcome back. I did not mean to save again. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to save. Peace save game. Ah. Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. It's super crazy, man. We just did some owl racing. What are they going to do again? Just say no. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, if you hit a bush here, you need a bean. <laughs> okay. You know what? Birds, you can you can really just slap my dick. Okay. You got with the birds. They can go die now. <laughs> Like the birds, they have problems. I mean, what is the game doing? Why is it loading? Did it really take that much just, just for the just for the game to stop doing the owl racing? I've never even heard that before. Like I've only, I've only ever done it off, like during the like, in the menu. I've never actually done it in, in game. I don't like bird racing. I don't even know if you get anything from it. I don't even know if I want to know right now because that's how annoying it is. Is that fluff? There's like fluff right there. That's weird. Anyways, moving on in life. Let's go. Hurry, money, hurry up. Okay. Come on, guys. Why are they not following me? Huh. They're not following me. Wait, is it over here? The lesson, the lesson, yeah, the lesson's over here. The lesson's over here. There's a portion thing over there. To the left, where that golden thing is. But we actually want to go over here. For our first flying lesson! Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very enthusiastic about this one. Gee up there! Meet the Buckbeak! Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him, and you bow, and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first? <laughs> I volunteer Hermione. <laughs> I volunteer Hermione. So I volunteer. Well, it's actually a really weird mechanic. I don't like this mechanic. It reminds me of like Zelda and Epona, but like, you have to bow to Epona first kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you picture if you're playing Zelda and you had to like battle t point first? So yeah, anyways, go over here, get close. Come here. Hey little birdie. Oh, you wanna put, as soon as you see, as soon as the X says bow, bow to the bird, the bird will bow back, or hippogriff. Hippogriff will bow back. And you get it back. Where did I keep it there? Well done. Like no, not really. Anyways, he just bats out. Catch as many as you can. You'll need to give Beaky a bit of a run before he can get airborne. Then just fly at the bats and Beaky will do the rest. Go on then. Bring it. I can do this. It's like freaking... Okay, can I fly? Okay. Why am I not flying? Why the heck is it not fly? <laughs> Bird, are you gonna fly? I'm gonna to make you fly. Ah, oh, okay, you press circle. Oh crap, oh crap, I don't like this game, oh my gosh. Okay, me and fly, but no, anyways, fight with a white cloud in the middle and get a bunch of bats. The more bats you get, you can actually get health points first. If you don't, it's okay too. You don't actually have to do this, you don't actually have to win or anything, just. <laughs> okay, this game, this, me, this, me and this game are not getting working on I'm going to tell. Me and flying do not work anymore. You can just tell, like, how much I suck with the owls. I don't, I don't work with flying, and flying don't work with me. That's how the freaking game goes. Eight lay, you know, you don't fall. You don't fall, birdie. Bird, I'm gonna call it birdie, because that works for me, than hippogriff. Hippogriff's wordy and... Oh, really, bats? Really? Really? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Get the birds. Okay, six. Six left. We only need six. Come on, we have like 90 seconds to do this. We can do this. Yeah, before, the first, I think the first time I did this, I just, I just ran. I just went anyway. Like, I just went around the castle. Which this, this is pretty much the fast way to get around. Oh, come on. It was right there. The bats were right there. They are just so close to your freaking beak. You could, you could like, smash down a little bit. Come on. Wow. That was, like, all in one gulp. <laughs> wow, little bird. Wow. I you have a griff. You really know how to act. I'd say that was an A plus. Cool. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. It'll be easy. You're a thing at the top, are you? The ugly great creature. Malfoy, no! 
Yeah, first thing is, you don't insult them. Little, little pansy boy here. And of course, Matt Fury makes it a big deal, and, uh, well, we'll find out what happens later. <laughs> now, uh, Matt Fury's father is, um, governor of the school, and of course, Harry you know. Wow. That was a big skip. Anyway, right here. Eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. <laughs> Shot in the background with paper figures and characters. The winters swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his room and knew no more. Well, yeah, the thing about the first, this, the third game is I don't like it back. I like the, I like the third game a lot. But the thing I don't like about the third game is that you don't there's no you don't get to do Quidditch. The first, second Harry slept restlessly in the hospital wing, sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified He could hear voices whispering, but they made no sense whatsoever. Ron? Quiet. I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Follow me. Ron? <laughs> Ron? Oh yeah, there would be a little Harry's bathroom. Thing. <laughs> um, but yes, um, the first game they had Quidditch, second game they had Quidditch, and the third game they, did, they didn't have it. They should have, because in the fourth game there was no Quidditch because it's prior, the prior, prior, prior to the tournament. Fifth game, it was taken out because of Umbridge. And the sixth, the sixth game they had it, but yeah, in the first, third, second game they had it, and the third one they just didn't do. It. I don't know why. I guess they just didn't feel like they needed it, but I think they did. They opened a, a, a nice addition to the game. Anyway, it's the hospital wing, the one we couldn't get into. There's nothing really special here. At least I think so. Let's check around a little bit. I think maybe like later in there is, but like right now there's not. Anyway, let's follow Ron. Oh my! You know what I just remembered. Ah. Oh. There's a bunch of stuff I was gonna do. Oh my, I totally just forgot about that. I was gonna do a bunch of stuff with um, Ron's new Luma, Luma spell book, spell. Let's go over here. I have peas over here. It's a freaking prick. Oh my, he just blocked the... You freaking prick. Oh yeah, I hate this part. Because this part... He's a polyester, polyester, He can, he can. Prince just went to wait for you. Wait to for the pot. He'll laugh and then you hit him. But polyester can actually take, can actually pick up physical things. So, just say so you no. Know. If you ever wonder why, even though he's a ghost, he can pick up things, that'd be why. Oh crap. Uh huh. You know, I'm a trained wizard. With yeah. See, this is a really good time to actually have a good for pendo, for pendo thing. Cause now you see. Really easy to hurt him. And I really feel weird in this bathroom. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? I wasn't like targeting him. You sure? Yeah, he like he can he come he can come physical in like and like whenever he wants to. Like, he doesn't have to be, but he can be. So he so he can still float through like you know doors and stuff. Anyways. Come on, well, why do I see? Yeah, I forgot, do, I forgot to do this right here, which I'm supposed to do, but I'll come back later and do it later on in the game, I guess. So that's gonna be annoying. Alright, so now I'm gonna be able to talk to Ron until we get to um the next area. Is there anything like I need to get? Hmm. I thought there's supposed to be like some things you put you can get with like, you know, like I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'm making no sense. I know, but. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think about this. How much time do I have left? Oh, I almost, I almost have time. No, I mean, I'll get to Grand Hall and stop there.
while we're on now, <laughs> while we're all the way down to the bottom. It's not like we're not. It's not like I'm not used to being out out in nighttime. So you know, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I'm kind of in the kind of good time to stop here. So you know what? We're gonna stop it here first, and then from here we'll go and follow around to the dungeon, go to see Rich Black. So if you guys are ready, can we? I want to see someone real quick before we end. Can we actually go duel in this bathroom? It'd be really interesting. Can we? Can you actually duel in your bath in your in your Hogwarts? In, in the in the the. The the hospital clothes things. Can you actually do it like this? I don't know what quick. It's so weird. You can. Oh, this is actually a Hufflepuff this time, not not Ravenclaw. What's this Ravenclaw? I can't, I can't remember if it's blue or yellow for Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's weird. You can actually, you know, those people will actually be your partners since Ron and Harry, Ron and Hermione aren't with me. So, anyways, next time we'll follow Ron down to the dungeon. So this is a fight, this is a fight, please, man. Signing out. Good night, good luck.